Hi, welcome to Asian Beauty Secrets. As you can see, my lips are super red today. I want to share with you how I do this perfect red lips. It is a technique that I sort of picked up along the way to make sure that my red lips stay on all night, but also accentuate and complement my lip shape. So I hope you keep watching. First of all, let's keep in mind that you need to have a very hydrated and smooth lips. So if you haven't seen my dry lips video, go check that out now. I'll suggest you to do that first before applying red lipstick. You can use any red lipstick you have. I have it here my favorite red lipstick from Chanel and also another drugstore one from Wet n Wild just to demonstrate both would work fine. I will apply the drugstore one on top and the Chanel one on the bottom. First I will apply straight from the bullet on the top and bottom lip. This part does not have to be particularly precise. Then grabbing a tissue, I'm going to press my lips against it so it gets rid of any excess product. After that, I'm going to reapply the lipstick from the bullet again, going over the first layer and trying my best to get within the lip line. Using the same tissue, roll down twice and press your lips again like this. This allows the color to stay on your lips longer, working almost like a stain. Now I'm going to go in with the lip liner. Here I am demonstrating both a high-end and a drugstore lip liner which would both work fine for this look. When drawing lip line, using small strokes, make sure you draw the corners of your lips so that when you open your mouth, your lips do not look disconnected. The cupid's bow is the most important part, so make sure you define them to suit your lip shape. Keep in mind, just like me, lips can be uneven, so you might need to draw outside of your natural lip line when necessary. Repeat for the bottom lip and again making sure you get the corners of your mouth and you may also paint over your lips with a lip liner. I prefer to draw the lip liner after lipstick because it helps me better draw out the exact shape I want and I find that it blends with the lipstick seamlessly. For me personally, when drawing the lip liner underneath lipstick it can sometimes alter the original color and can cause my lips to dry out. Now, using the lip brush, I'm going to go over my whole lip and add more intensity and opacity to the lips. Since I already have my lips mapped out, this part is pretty easy. Just paint within the lines. This is how it would look and usually I will stop here for more natural velvety finish. But wait, there's more! If you want your lips to stand out, you can't go past lip gloss. Especially one designed to make them glass looking. Here I am applying the Chanel Rouge Lower Gloss, but again you can use any gloss you have, preferably one with no color or the same color of your lipstick. I'm just going to apply it to the center of my lips to give it more dimension. Now if you are new to this and you made a boo-boo, don't worry. Concealer to the rescue! Using a small concealer brush, go over the outer edge where it needs fixing and it can also make your lips look more polished and defined. Wait, I'm not finished yet. You can also dress up your lips with a little bit of highlighter and apply that to the cupid's bow and you may also add it to the center of your bottom lip to give it more volume. So this is the finished look and now you have lips that screams fabulous. It is something that I usually wear when I'm wearing minimal to a very natural elegant look. So something very simple on the eyes and definitely no crazy blush. So always just go for bronzer or very, very, very natural blush. But honestly, it is my cheat to look more polished than I really am. So remember, your lips need some TLC as well. And I hope you find those some somewhat helpful and I will see you in my next video. Bye. The reason why I showed you two options is mean it doesn't it doesn't mean you have to have you know expensive lip liner or lipstick to achieve this look. Anything is fine. I mean the one I got from drugstore only cost five dollars altogether. The lip liner was only like three ninety nine and the lipstick was like fifty cents. Bling, bling. Oh, I was so pissed when I got this dress. Got this dress and then two days later it was on sale. I'm like, no, no.